What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Godzilla vs. Kong drawing. It's the scene where Godzilla is stepping on uh, Kong's chest and he's, they're sort of roaring into each other's face, right? So kind of a cool moment in that movie. So let's go, I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser first. If you want to do ink afterwards, you can. You can always do ink on top of pencil, but you can't really do it the other way around. So I recommend pencil. Right, so we're going to start with Kong sort of down here in this corner and then Godzilla sort of screaming into his face some of his legs sort of sitting on his chest just here right so let's go so we're going to start with Kong's big eyebrow sort of area right so we just curve a line around like so right kind of this hook right so this is like his head and this will go around here around the top like this Right. And this will eventually come around for the back of his head. We'll just focus on the front of his face here first. So this kind of hooks down a little bit more, just there. And then we have his nose. So we'll do like the contours of his nose just coming down from his brow just here. Your nose always connects to your brow, right? And he has that gorilla sort of nose. So it like bumps this way real sort of flat right and it can be a bumpy line because he's all he's got all wrinkly face and you know stuff like that so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight line and then his nostril is in here so just like a dark sort of circle like just in here like a teardrop shape maybe just like that and then this comes around like so and his nose eventually becomes his top lip right so this comes out like here and then we got like some wrinkle lines coming around his nose. Like so, okay. Just like, you know, some texture and wrinkles and things. Some here as well, coming around. Like so, okay. And you can make this as wrinkly as you want, right? So his eye then, right, is in here and it's kind of it's real small, so it's like all we can see is like the lens of it or something, so it kind of like curves here, and he's looking up, right, so he's looking like up this way, sort of at Godzilla, right, and then like the bottom eyelid, just like there, and that'll like curve around here, and you'll have like some wrinkles and the socket of his eye and stuff you know, the sort of skin that's on it. And this kind of will curve around here. Some wrinkly lines. And then it'll eventually join back up the back of this. So then what we can see of his pupil, it's, it's real long and thin because he's looking to the side. So when circles turn, they become long and sort of skinny. And then as well, if you want more sort of wrinkle lines on his nose, texture and stuff like that, if you want, totally optional. And we can add some wrinkles and things on his forehead coming around. Back here. And eventually we'll see like the starts of his hair, sort of the furry section of his head. Right, like so. So that's the eye sort of nose area, okay? So then the mouth, right, open screaming. So this is the top lip, as I said. So this comes down this way. Okay, and it's open real wide. Comes down like so. And then around the bottom here. Remember, if I go too fast, just hit pause. Right, and then his bottom lip curves down here. And then in here, we'll have those big sort of fangs and stuff, right? So we'll have like big fangs sort of sticking up here. And this could go into like his gum area. And then we have molar sort of normal teeth here. We can see some of his gum on the bottom like that. And this can have wrinkles. And texture on his teeth, you know, if they're all old and sort of yellow, kind of gnarly teeth. And maybe some of his lip will go back around 
the other side. And we should be able to see some of the fang just sticking up on the other side. And maybe his tongue just coming out of his mouth there. So we can see some of his fangs on top. Sticking out like so. And maybe some more flat, flatter sort of teeth. Just sticking up kind of here. Maybe some of the fang on the other side, kind of like that. So, he's real hairy on his face that comes all the way down, like here. Okay, and it comes all the way down. He's got like a beard, sort of. So, we have to do his chin sort of hairy, right? Like this. Well, you don't have to, but I recommend it. <laughs> you can do it as sort of hairy and sketchy as you want and this will eventually come out to his jaw and go up towards his ear right and there's all details inside here but we'll just get the main shape first and we'll eventually have like some hair lines going up towards his ear lobe sort of there okay so then this beard line comes all the way down right so it's gonna like the hair starts you know goes around here You've got this sort of textured kind of area and comes under the cheek for his eye, right? So it kind of defines the eye socket as well. Right kind of here, it's all hairy. And this will come down the side of his mouth. Kind of like a beard, kind of like he has a massive beard and it comes around his chin then as well. Depends on what version of Kong you're doing, of course. Right, and you know, there could be like texture just coming down for his chin just to show that he's kind of hairy here and then we'll add like wrinkles and stretch lines just in this area as well okay so like this his mouth is being stretched so the skin is being sort of pulled down here okay and then again like texture coming from his lip wrinkle lines all the way around his face just like that and you can do as much of this as you want now okay so as I said, his jaw joins his ear, right? So his ear has to be here. It's kind of underneath the brow, right? So his earlobe will start sort of here somewhere. Just here, okay? And this will go like so, round. So he's, he's kind of small ears relative to the size of his head, you know, compared to humans. Right, like that. And we can add like some more hair and stuff coming up along the inside here. And bones and ligaments on the inside. So lots of different ways of doing this. The easiest way is kind of this sort of letter J kind of thing. You know, it always reminds me of a letter J. Some people might want to add more. So I will add more for anyone who wants to. Maybe like the hole in his ear, just here. Like that. Right, so let me just move my image down a bit and we'll try and get his head in. Okay, so coming back this way. So like gorillas and apes and stuff have longer skulls than humans, right? So you gotta like remember that. So it's gonna go out past his ear a good bit, right? And we just add, keep adding sort of hairy. You wanna, you know, he's furry, you know? So we gotta make it look like he's furry. So a long skull like that, see? So sketchy sort of line is is the most realistic way of doing it, right? You could do a straight, just round line if you wanted. And then the front of his neck, just there. And furry as well if you want. You know, like the bottom of his skull would be sort of here and all these folds and stuff on his neck. Fur. 
following the shape for his head generally, you know, so you're going around the skull. Just adding all that texture. You could do that with color as well if you wanted, if you didn't want to add loads of sort of texture on the inside, you could color dark purple, purple, <laughs> brown. Sometimes I say things without thinking. Right, let's see where we are now. So, that's not bad. That's not bad, how does it look from there? Good, we'll keep going. So, right, so his chest goes off the bottom of my page, right? So we can just see his head and sort of his shoulder and some of his body going this way, okay? So say chest line coming out here, right? And then shoulder, again, we'll do it sort of hairy. This is the shoulder sort of area coming down that way. And then his back will go off here. So he's sort of lying on his, his elbows, right? So, you know, we got like some shoulder muscle lines here. And then like maybe like another fold line just here for his neck, right? Then his chest goes down like so. Not as hairy as chest. So we'll make it more of a solid line. It starts to get a bit hairy going back this way. Might be some fur just coming along the top. And then chest muscle goes down that way. Can we see his nipple? Maybe. Maybe like a little bit here or something there and then his stomach and abs right so goes down off my page Godzilla's foot will come up from here All right so we got like some texture lines and things like so okay shoulder maybe on the other side Just adding texture as we go, just these little dashes and stuff like that, just to make them look a little bit hairy. Okay, so that's Kong basically. We can see a bit more of his leg over there, but we gotta draw Godzilla first. Okay, so they're real their faces are real close to each other. So like Godzilla's head is like here, right? Just above Kong's face, right? So we'll go. That square sort of snout that he has, right? We'll do that first. So all that comes out here. We're gonna start here. And then we will curve it around. Like so, right? And his nostril will be kind of in here somewhere. Right? So sort of small, stumpy, right? And then his gums bumping, like the inside of his mouth where all the teeth come out. Come back like this way and around to the corner of his mouth. So right there. So then the back of his head, so we kind of have like his brow or something just sticking out here. And we're gonna bring this back here. And his eyes are like in here and stuff. Well, eye, we can only see one eye. And this goes down like that, so real long. We just get the shape for his head in and then we'll add the details, so. So his, let's say, the bottom of his jaw. Let's say here, so we'll go out like that. There's all teeth and stuff in this as well. So, but this is like our general shape for his mouth open. And his chin goes around like so. And then this will go up this way, around. Back of his jaw here. Roughly like this. Like that, and then we have 
that sort of skin line that's in on the side of his mouth so sort of here you know that sort of skin like so and this can have like some texture lines on it like that okay so we get in where the eye area is right so this kind of we got he's real small eyes so I guess the easiest way so you just draw just in here underneath this brow area right you're just going to do like a lemon sort of shape right so kind of like real narrow it always reminds me of a lemon that sort of shape right And then just to make it a bit easier on ourselves, just so we don't need much detail, we're going to add just like a long sort of eye like that. And maybe some of the iris just around the back here. In the front, right? So kind of like a cat-like or snake-like eye. I'm not sure. I think he could have like a circle eye, but I like the, to give lizards sort of. <laughs> Makes him look more lizard-like, I think. So then the brow area, right? So it'll go around here, make him real frowny. Back this way, right? And this will go all the way back towards the spines on the back of his head, right? So it'll go like all the way up this way. Eventually start to go back. And like these eventually will become these kind of you know, spine like things. They've got like, you know, like angles to them and this kind of thing, you know. But before we do that, we gotta add just a bit more detail around his eye, right? So, like, he's got like top eyelid, bottom eyelid, like that. And then we have coming from his nose, right? We've got like these, what would you call them? Sort of just these wrinkles and things around his eye. But there's like levels to them. Right, so that's one layer. And then there's like another one that comes around here. And this one go back and eventually become like a spiking section as well kind of joins another sort of layer of spikes going back this way this up just to make it look a bit more substantial just making it darker this line and then we can add like lots of texture and wrinkles right so like say the back of his jaw goes up this way right? the back of his head and then there's like like all these kind of wrinkly scaly lines right coming around his eye all back this way so you're just adding like lots of this texture now again just to kind of make them look lizard like and stuff so just coming up following the curves of each of these sorts of things you know adding these sorts of circles like groups of these circles just to show that he may have some scales and things and then some wrinkles on his lip down here too just these kind of textures and things make him look a bit bumpy 
there's no sort of rule to this. You're just sort of feeling it out, and sort of adding lines as where you think they go. Like around his nose here, you'll have sort of a wrinkle there. And Right, so thickening up some of the lines will add shadow to it. So, it'll like when you say, if I thicken, make this darker, it'll just make it look there's a bit of a shadow underneath the brow there, and that can help just make things pop a little bit more. Right, so then, so we gotta add teeth, I guess. So. He has relatively small teeth for a creature's size, right? So, yeah, small teeth. So let's just go for it. We can have like some random big ones, right? Like sticking out, but mostly small little teeth like this. all the way back to maybe there. And like so. And then down here, same sort of thing. Small, some big. some of the back of his mouth there so with some teeth kind of sticking up the other side just there and then his tongue so his tongue will sort of stick out from here round and back there and then we should see some of the skin on the other side of his mouth some of that maybe like some teeth on the other side of his mouth as well you know and if you're looking for like super detail we can add like drool you know because they're screaming at one another you know so it'd be like yes yeah, like drool and Dots of debris and stuff just sticking out here. Right, so that's his face, pretty much, right? So the back of his neck, right, it'll go up this way. We'll get the main shape in first, so it'll go all the way back here, right? And we got some starts of spikes and stuff there, but we'll just get like the other end of his neck in first. So coming out here, right? Going that way. And this has like armor and stuff on it, I think. But we'll go, so we'll go just like so. First, so this like joins his stomach. sense of this leg so that's his leg so his leg should be right, so we have like some of his midsection right so here and this will come tricky to make it out so just goes around this way. So it's all armor and stuff, but this goes down his midsection, right? 
here. So it's like his chest and stuff joins his arm going up there. And then his leg sitting on Godzilla, or sitting on Kong's chest. Sort of comes down here. Right. Like that. And is this like just his middle section? And then his thigh there. Okay. So before we add any texture, in, we'll just get the main shapes in. And then his leg, his knee or so, comes around this way. Right, and his foot is like, his toe or something, is there. Okay, so then, his chest line, and like abdominal armor and things, right? So we got like chest armor here. Comes down. And then it'll go up. And go off my page, I think, back. Back here. Shoulder line, right? So shoulder is real big. It's like here. It's a big circle, sort of. Comes back this way. So I think his arm and his shoulder. So that's like the main areas. Leg, body, torso going this way, arm going back. And then, right, we'll attempt to add some details just on his neck and stuff here, right? So this line for, you know, these sort of scales will go back this way, right? So you'll add like stuff like this, right? So big sort of three dimensional Kind of get sort of spikes and things, you know, going back. Eventually back into his body here, okay? And then these will have. Go down his body and big ones. They get bigger as they go back, you know? going up and eventually go up and off my page just there and then like a middle line of them going back here and final kind of one here so you just kind of make them look spiky and going back this way and there's no sort of rule for this you just do whatever sort of spikes you like right you know you just you just go on one and point them back this way and you can do them real sketchy it doesn't have to be 
super detailed or anything. And then in between these, right, you'll have sort of these sort of texture lines. Running up between them. Doo -doo. So the thing about Godzilla, you know, when you're trying to draw them sort of semi-realistic, you, know, you can get the main shapes in, but it's all about sort of the texture, right? And the flow of where the scales are and all that kind of stuff, right? So you've got all these bumpy sort of bits. Right, that you're trying to sort of describe. You know, with these textures and things like that. So then here we have the gills. Okay, so he's got those gills that come around, right? So, like coming down from here, right? I think there's like five or six of them. They kind of gradually you know, get a bit bigger as we go down. This is where you see that blue glow and stuff coming out. And we'll just add some texture on that as well. So you just do an extra sort of edge line here. And with some lines like this on them. got armor on his neck so like this sort of area here with these sort of plates on it right so they kind of go diagonal this way you know and then wrinkles and scales all here can be some bumps and more spikes randomly sort of around his chest and then like chest plate or something right kind of like that so you're just adding these sort of textures like so so on his shoulder and his back and all that, right? We got like scales and armor and all this kind of stuff. So the easiest way to do that, that's not sort of drawing all of it, right? Is like you just do this sort of lines like this, following the shape, you're going like circular, okay? You know, this is like the sort of simple way to do it and it meets his elbow right and it'll change direction but we'll right so and then there's elbows here and then it kind of roughly sort of the same sort of thing right so you'll do these lines right these sort of broken lines that follow the shape for the arm you're looking for curved broken lines and then in between that you're going to want to add like these horizontally lines right so you, what, it, what it does is so they kind of look like letter T's right so what this does is it gives the illusion that these are all like scales you know and, and yet you don't really it's like a little trick you don't have to draw in the whole thing it's just enough if you're looking to get the feel now Depends on how you know much time you have or how far advanced you are with your drawing. If you want to build that up, you know you can add scale by scale. You know, make each one a box, and then put one underneath. You know, but I think sometimes you know you don't have to do all of that. You know. This, I think, is enough. That kind of thing can be enough. 
depends on how you how you feel about it, I guess. And on the edges, you know. Thicken up some of the lines. Right, roughly like that, and then scales going back this way, spikes and bumps and I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, but you know he's a heavily detailed character, so hit that pause button if I'm moving too fast. And I just like to give my Godzilla drawings a nice bit of texture because he's an incredibly textured creature, you know. Right, so so this is like his midsection. Okay, so he's got like he's got like turtle shell kind of armor here. And it's, again, it's it's kind of wavy stuff. It's kind of cracked. You know, it has lines inside lines like if you look up if you google like turtle shell um armor and stuff you'll see what I mean so it's got all these lines inside lines and I think that's what they sort of designed it on at least I think so because I remember looking it up before so it's you know the the artistic director and all that in the movie would have gone out and done research and picked animals and picked textures and given it to the artists and go, we want a turtle shell or whatever down here. And they would have went, yes, sir. <laughs> so you're just sort of adding lots of these kind of shapes down here as much as you want. And when you're breaking up a section, you know, you want the outside edge line. When you're doing a 2D line drawing, you want the outer edge line to be a bit thicker than the texture on the inside, like a darker, heavier line. Just different line weights. Like that. And then he's got like a, like a ridge of armor that comes down here, down the midsection. It's like a bone or something here. And then these lines again go up. You're using your lines to show the direction of growth of his scales and things, right? Let me just thicken up this stuff, right? Same thing on his leg. So you'll do, you're following the contours of. like his leg, right, and you're adding all that armor. But we've got, say his foot, we actually have a defined sort of area here. So I hope this isn't too confusing now. Maybe it is. Right, so it's like a toe here. And then scales, right, so say on his thigh up here, you're gonna add vertical, but follow a curving shape, you know, because it goes like around his knee and back up and stuff. Going that way. Right, so that kind of thing. And then you'll add your horizontals. So you'll go. Do this kind of thing. Gives the illusion that you've drawn in, you've put lots of scales and things. <laughs> but you're just, you know, doing a quick sort of sketch. And like, you only need to add some texture, especially if you're if you're going to color after or shade, you know, because you could shade this darker and stuff. All 
nice. Thickening up, uh, adding extra line weights to certain areas pushes some things back and brings some things forward. Right, so like a heavier line here, say, will show the fold of his leg a bit better. See that? And then, so then his knee, sort of lines that come across around his knee there. And then there seems to be a separation between the armor, comes down his calf, right? So we got like a line here, and then we have on the front of his shin. This is the direction of the armor there. And then on this side, it kind of goes this way. Right, so we got like a separating line just there. With two different shapes, right? And then you add scaly lines like so. Thicken up this. So we're getting to the final stages now. So what that means is you're, you know, tuning things up and, you know, just getting a feel for what you think it needs. You know, where you need extra darkness, where you need heavier lines, you know, touching things up and stuff. So. Um, we can see a little bit of a hand or a claw on this side, I think. So it like comes down this way. There's like a spike here, like a, th and like a thumbnail or something, and then a finger coming off like so. Like that. I mean, I could have left this out, but it's just a little extra detail that just shows his hands, I guess. And you can add scales again. Curving. Like so, right? And then again, heavier line weights in certain places make certain things pop. You know, like shadows here and there. And then we have some of the scales on, you know, those, um, you know, they, the fins, I guess, is what would be the technical name for them. And they're the things that go sort of that neon blue when he's using his atomic breath. So we'll add some of those because they're kind of cool. And they have details like this, that turtle shell sort of thing again. Lines within lines. Russian doll sort of thing getting smaller the whole way down. You can like thicken up the edge of your characters, like the outside lines. Sometimes that makes things a little bit more interesting. Okay, so. And then we can see some of Kong's knee coming out here, I think. So we'll make this sort of hairy so it, we don't think it's like Godzilla or something. Right? So that's like Kong's knee there. Okay. So 
So you can add debris in the air. You know, these are giant dudes. So dudes, well, they're not dudes, but you know, you can add lots of stuff. So much fun drawing these things. Is it a good tutorial? Is it helpful? That's what I would like to know. Is it too complicated? But I'm having fun doing this right now. <laughs> I don't want to stop. It's not that it's like that for, it's not like that for the other ones, but you know when you're like, I don't know, you're just in the zone. It's just, you're just feeling it out and stuff. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Godzilla versus Kong. The scene where he's stepping on his chest. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.